First of all, we are going to go with The Times, Steve. Front page of The Times tells us, I mean, well, there's, there's the headline, Migrant Crossings Approach 900 a Day. I don't know if that picture's <laughs> linked to it, but he looks like he probably did this film on his own. But, um, He's very muscly. Yeah, hundreds of schools still in dark over safety fears. This is about the crumbling, this bubbly concrete. I was reading somewhere uh, online today saying that some of it can be up to 70% air. That's not bubbly concrete. That's slightly concretey air at that stage. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's a worry. You don't know if your school might have the risk of something just collapsing. It's reached its end of its lifespan. Yesterday we, we were chatting about who knew what when? Mm. So I bothered to research it today. So in the 60s, they was used in the 50s and 60s. In the 60s, people had concerns about whether it should be used. Mm. In the 1980s, they first found out that there were some structural issues. Same thing happened in the 90s. Early 2000s, they did a report into it where they actually went along and analysed it and went, yep, here's your structural problems. 2019, a school collapse in Gravesend, or a bit of it does. Uh, 2021, they sent around these questionnaires to schools to say, what? let's have a look to find out if you've got mm. this thing that needs uh, sorting out. Three days before the schools were meant to open, something happened. So you definitely could have done something earlier at all of those opportunities. Mm, there, thank you very much, Steve, for that history lesson of uh, aerated concrete. What do, you, yeah. what do you think? I mean, it seems like a lot of people, for them, it's all about blame. But really, Lewis, surely it's also about, like, our children being safe. I mean, your children are past the school age, so you probably don't care about this. Right? I, I probably wouldn't have cared even if they were during the school age. But That's uh, why she got custody. <laughs> I was making a joke, Steve. I mean, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is the weirdest show. I feel like it's Sunday. I feel like, what, what you know. It feels take, like a Sunday. It me. feels like a Sunday to me. Yeah, anyway, the point is, who, who are you blaming, Steve? Who, who are you blaming that they, that they made this announcement three days before the school? So and the government made the announcement, but where was somebody else demanding that an announcement be made three years ago when the school collapsed or 20 years ago when they first realized this? It's the this? government's job to do that. As soon as they, this questionnaire that they sent around, pull your finger out yeah. and get it done, act upon it sooner than thinking, oh, well, all of a sudden the schools are about to be open. Let's shut some of them down until we go along and reinforce yeah. this reinforced autoclave. Like no, this is, this is a democracy and an open society. And when you have an open society, you expect political parties and organizations to make a stink about stuff before the so day So you're before. basically blaming the opposition... For, for not doing for it. not holding the Tories yeah. to account, not the Tories for yeah. just not doing their job. Not, for not for not holding the government, the the state to account for this. Yes, I mean well, they're I'm holding just... them to account now. Tomorrow, Commons is yeah. opening, and Labour are going to have a field day with this surely. But where was this? These buildings have been around for a hundred years using this method. Since well, the sixties, well, yeah. No, since the sixties in this country, but it was from the they started in the nineteen twenties in Sweden. I did a little research too. Ooh, in the nineteen twenties, look at both of you caring in, about your jobs in, in Sweden. Down here, yeah. In cool. Sweden. And I knew that autoclaving meant, it meant it was heat. It's good for, this whole building system is really good for the environment because concrete is one of the biggest producers of CO2, from what I know. Not that I believe that CO2 causes climate change, but a lot of people do. Sorry, I don't it's believe double, it. Oh, I'm surprised denial. you believe that CO2 exists. Uh, you know what? I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> There's no direct evidence. No, you don't have a lived experience, do you, with CO2? I, I, well, I, no, I, I'm, I've been told. It's the and one gas you can detect. You mate, it's what you're talking no, about. Yeah, CO2. literally what you're saying right now is CO2. No, I just get this. I detect an absence of oxygen. I don't no, that's the thing you don't. You, the human body doesn't detect an absence of oxygen. Do you know what? You the detect, people, you know oh, what? No, We've the gone, people we're out we're there hate you, Steve. They hate <laughs> your intelligence. Gone. They hate your wise guy wow. attitude. They like me because I'm right. man of the people. Yes, I come from a better country than them. Look, we've been slightly knocked off target <laughs> straight at the first story.